I am a multi-camera system shooter. I have a Sony kit, a Fujifilm kit, a Canon kit, an Olympus kit, and a Nikon kit. Two thirds of the Nikon kit are film cameras. In this video, I'll be sharing seven lessons I've learned using all of this gear. There are two main lessons I learned along the way and five sub lessons that came about while learning these two main lessons. The first main lesson I learned is that it doesn't really matter the camera kit you use. The camera kit will only produce what you allow it to when you know what you're using it for. Also, you can use any camera kit for whatever you want to use it for, but there will always be an uphill battle when it comes to having the right type of kit for whatever the scenario is that you are shooting. And here is why I say that. The majority of the cameras I have usually go unused until I find the reason or the occasion to take them out. Based on the limitations and quirks of a specific kit, I know how much of a struggle I would have if I were to take it out and shoot it on a specific type of shoot. The first sub lesson I learned is that when you are starting out, it is okay to want to test out all of the cameras and lenses, but that doesn't mean you have to. But on the flip side, you won't really know what camera kit fits how you shoot until you use them all, right? If that's the case, then find a way to rent the gear you want to test out until you find one that is a keeper or find a group of individuals you can collaborate with who shoot with different systems and swap from time to time this is easier said than done when certain people with certain kits get clowned for not shooting with <laughs> the popular kit shoot with what you want to shoot with in the end you do not need as many cameras as i have i feel for the trap of buying when renting is a viable option some of the cameras i have are residual cameras they hold value as the first cameras i purchased and were the start of all of what you see here on this channel and everything i do around photography and videography outside of this channel but eventually i will pass them along some of the gear was given to me because the person who owned it no longer wanted them and to them i'm the camera person so why not give them to me right I'm very grateful. Thank you for watching this. And I'll be passing them along one day as well. The second sub lesson I learned is that used gear is just as good as new gear. And sometimes you can find the camera that best fits your needs in the used camera section versus buying the newest camera and then finding out it is no better than the camera you previously owned or you currently own. Also, the gear is only as good as the operator, although the gear has its limitations. But as the operator, it is your responsibility to work within those limitations and still produce the work that you were set out to create or promise to the client. I want to highlight that the majority of the gear I've acquired is trade-ins or used camera gear. There are only a few pieces of kit here I paid full price for outside of the cameras I've owned since I started shooting photography, and that is the Sony Zeiss 16 35 f4, the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8, Canon RP, and the Canon RF 16 and 50 millimeter primes. I recently wanted to challenge myself on a camera I passed up on, and so I got the Canon RP again. This camera was only as good as I allowed it to be, and back then I didn't even know much about anything when it comes to photography and video so who was i to judge whether the camera was good or bad but here we are an excellent camera the third sub lesson i learned is that trading in camera gear is definitely an option and it is a path of least resistance when it comes to selling off your camera gear however you can get more if you sell the gear yourself which can come with a ton of issues and hassles i will continue to use a trading option i don't care much for the hassles of doing it myself and plus i get to interact with some of the individuals who can recommend camera gear i might not even know that I need for certain problems that I'm struggling with. The fourth lesson I learned is that over time, camera gear loses its value and some gear loses its value much faster than others. I had to learn the hard way about buying new camera gear and the fact that the value depreciates as soon as you leave the camera store or as soon as you press the buy button. And as soon as you get the package and open it, it appreciates even more. On top of that, the more you use the camera gear, the amount of time you have it in your possession and whether a new updated version was released all factors into how fast it depreciates. Lenses usually hold their value and depending on the lens, they can appreciate over time. But if you don't keep your gear clean, then you're docked for that during the time when you were selling it or trading it in. Make sure you keep your gear clean. The fifth lesson I learned is gear acquisition and its lasting effects. I suffer from gear acquisition syndrome. I've been able to cut down on how much gear I acquire, but uh, it still has a hold over me. Whenever I'm scrolling and see something that seems of interest, I stop, look at it, and then look at other reseller sites to see what I can find. So as of now, I'm done with buying the newest gear or just buying gear for the sake of buying gear. I'm more interested in buying what I need for what it is I'm actually doing. I do have my eyes on a few more things I want to get over the next few years to add to my Sony kit because I can see where there are some gaps I need to fill in the kit 
in order to create for this channel specifically. I might rent some things when it comes to testing out gear, but not buying to keep. And that is where testing out gear will stem from on this channel and whether a company sends something for out uh, for review. But the second main lesson I learned is that once you have a great kit that you can create with and feel comfortable with all of the other stuff, it doesn't matter once you've gotten the i need the next best thing out of your system over time how you think about camera gear shifts from needing the next best thing it shifts to what i actually need in order to improve the kit i already have and enjoy using sometimes it might not even be the newest next best thing it could be a 40 dollar vintage lens or a 15 dollar lens adapter and it may even shift to i'm not using majority of this camera kit let me offload some of this gear i am not using this is something I've already been doing. I still have too much gear, but when it comes to the gear I actually use, I am at the bare minimum. I know there are a few things I still need to complete my setup, but I can still create with what I have without them. So all those things can wait. They'll be there whenever I really need them, hopefully. But let me know if any of these lessons ring true for you down in the comments below. If you got any value out of this video, consider liking and subscribing while staying awesome. Stay awesome.